Zoax.net Lesson 6 Constants For this lesson, you will need a project like the one we created in Lesson 1. We talked about variables which allow us to change their values. We also talked about literals which are constant values that the compiler reads and interprets. In this lesson, we are going to discuss the declared constants which are related to both of those topics. To declare a constant of a particular type, we use the same exact syntax that we use for variables, except that we put the word final in front of the declaration. The word final is used to indicate that its value cannot be changed. I use a k at the beginning of the name to signal that this is a constant. Note that constants should always be assigned a value immediately in their declaration since their value cannot be changed. Let us look at a simple example program. In this program we create an integer constant for the months of the year and assign it the value 12. Below this, we output the value inside the message there are blank months in the year. In this program we have stretched this line of code over three lines. This demonstrates that we can write a line of code on multiple lines and it will work just as if the code was all on one line. This is because the compiler ignores white space and uses a semicolon to signal the end of the line. Notice that we used plus signs between the constant value and the string literals. The plus signs are needed to tell the compiler that the entire message string is to be kept together. Executing the program, we see this result. This program demonstrates the proper use of a constant. That is, you should use a constant when the value to be stored is known and should not change. In these situations, constants do offer some advantages over variables. First, using them ensures that the value cannot accidentally be changed. Second, they allow the compiler a chance to optimize the code so that it can run faster and use less memory. To see how this optimization might work, take a look at this program which makes a simple conversion from degrees to radians. If all of these values were true variables instead of constants, this value would be stored in memory. Then this value would be stored somewhere else. In this line we would retrieve those two values from memory, divide them, and store the result in this variable. Then that variable would be retrieved for the final calculation here. If these values are known to the compiler to be constants, then the values don't change. In this case, the compiler can do all of the work during the compilation and store the result here where it is outputted. As you can see, this means that the computer does not need to do as much work when the program is running. So it is much faster. It also saves some memory. The speed in memory does not matter for a small program like this one, but in larger programs the difference could be significant. You might wonder why we bother to declare constants when we could use literals instead like this. It is true that literals will work and this will have all the efficiency advantages that our constant types have. However, constant types have some serious advantages over literals as well. Since constant data types have names, they are far more descriptive and readable than literals. For example, does this literal value 12 refer to the month of the year, or does it refer to a minimum age requirement? Constant types also offer greater consistency. For example, the value of pi might be given by both of the approximate literal values 3.14 and 3.14159 at different points in the code. Using a constant ensures that the value will always be the same. Worse still, sometimes constant values actually need to be changed. Imagine a constant that holds the number of planets in the solar system. Before 2006, this value would have been 9. Now that Pluto is no longer classified as a planet, this value should be 8. Using a constant allows us to make the change universal by altering a single value and recompiling the program.